What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are here at Busch Gardens Tampa today to do a general park update. So let's head inside and check it all out. If you guys remember, we had our Pokemon Go at the Park series not too long ago and uh, we have a new sign here that's uh, clearly for Pokemon Go players right there. Just some general guidelines and safety regulations to keep everybody safe while you're in the park. So we're over here by the Mayumbi Reserve and we have yet another Pokemon Go sign right here telling everybody to be aware of your surroundings and not do anything dumb. Duh. Look at the kitty. Here at the Serengeti Overlook, we actually have more Pokemon Go stuff and it looks like Busch Gardens is favoring Team Instinct, but they do have some awesome specials here. So all you gotta do is just show them that you are playing Pokemon and you can get some discounts. Very neat. If you've ever been to Tampa during the summer, you know it is ungodly hot. And they have something really kind of neat that we just stumbled upon. They have a cool break area where you can actually walk into this air conditioned room and cool off for a little bit. So as you can see, it is very hot. We are walking in right now. Oh, it feels so nice in here. <laughs> this is amazing. So, uh, it is ice cold here. It feels very nice. Do you feel frozen? I feel pretty close to it. Yeah, it feels excellent here. It is so nice. That is correct. You read that right. 50 degrees inside. Hello, Cobra's Curse. Glad to see you're open and you have a 45 minute wait today. Again, this is an excellent family spinning ride. If you have not tried it out, you need to get here quick and do it. We are over here at Jumbo Junction now and uh, kind of a sad thing to report. We had a flamingo situation yesterday. Uh, and as we can see, this area is actually closed off. But uh, apparently one of the park's more famous flamingos, Pinky, had an issue where a guest was very, very dumb, irresponsible and they had apparently picked up the flamingo and slammed it to the ground. Um, it's absolutely inexcusable and I hope the goes away for a very, very long time. Uh, but unfortunately, Pinky was lost. They had to euthanize it. But a uh, very sad day here at Bush Gardens. Um, I don't like reporting on this stuff, but it's something that needs to be talked about. <laughs> I'll get your good side, I promise. <laughs> That's Francis, she doesn't have that. Well, if you remember watching our live video, we said that we were gonna be doing POVs and there is Brandon on Sand Serpent. Getting some POVs for you guys. Oh, look at the kitty. That's a hot tiger. 
Alrighty guys, so we are over at Tidal Wave now and we're gonna do a little walk around to see if anything has changed with it. So let's go. And now that we're a little bit closer to the ride area, that's where the drop used to be before you hit the splashdown. Nothing else has really changed. Now somebody did point out in our last video, and I do remember it, there was a bridge that went right over the trough right here, but uh, that is no more, so that's gone. We still have those steel rails right there it looks like, and the work walls up around the entire area, but other than that, it's pretty dormant. The work walls again extend all the way down, but check this out, we actually have right here, Pokemon players, beware, stay out, because there's actually a Pokestop right behind these work walls, so they're trying to make sure that nobody goes anywhere they shouldn't be, but see the walls extend all the way down to where the main entrance used to be. And we're at the main entrance now. This is where the work walls end, and we can get a little look inside the station. Looks about the same. The only thing I can note that's different is, check this, we have some Q railing right there that has actually been cut out. So we can see it's been uh, serrated right there. So I'm wondering if something is going to be happening in here. Or maybe howl screen. I don't know. We'll see in the next coming weeks. We'll do another update, of course. So if you remember in our last update, we are over here by the log flume and they are working on the deck. Well, as we can see, it is fully complete now. Looks beautiful. So a big wide open area. Nice uh, area for people to kind of relax, take a seat, watch some people coming down the flume and watch Falcons Fury also. Glad to see it's finally open. Next to the Sheikor drop, we actually have another one of those polar pods, and I think this is a fantastic idea. Keeps people from passing out. So we are in Gwazi Park right now, and it is one of the last weekends for summer nights, and we have Kinetics, of course, at 9 p.m. We're gonna show you a couple clips from that and the fireworks show.